Good morning, lads. As you saw from the title, I am doing a whole world tour. So this might take a little while. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. We're going to start here at my very first base. It was a, uh, call it a starter base. I had a really simple iron farm that worked like a, a fourth of the time. But... I mean, it made iron, so no complaints. Uh, also had a little bit, had automatic, apparently it was a mob farm too, but uh, sugar cane farm, very simple, very resource, um, oh look, it had two layers even, very light on the resources. That little pumpkin and tree area right there. Yeah, I haven't been down here in a long time. I had villagers in here and a little farm for the villagers to chill in. This was fun to play around in. What was it? Oh, yeah. I have so many iron axes from upgrading of the toolsmith villager. Um, oh, this was an automatic pumpkin farm that I completely scrapped. So I went ahead and took out all the observers, pistons, and all the hoppers as well. So that was completely done away with. Um, oh, the actual base itself was underground. I built in a mycelium island so I wouldn't have to worry about creepers blowing stuff up before I had armor but this was the base itself everything you need in chest crafting tables bed I believe this was a tunnel yeah yeah that was a secret tunnel not needed anymore uh, oh food that's actually useful take some with me uh, bed, furnace area, extra wings. I forgot that these were here. They're even enchanted. Got plenty of those though. Oh, when I first got shulker boxes, I had four shulker boxes. Uh, storage room. I used to have more chests, but I broke the chest to clean it up easier. Um, uh, the AFK fishery. Oh, it still has. Oops. Still has the fishing rod in it. Yep. Definitely one of the best beginner farms. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, oh yeah, we were right next to a spawner, but I never did anything w with it. Looks like it's a skeleton spawner. But, I mean, I still don't think... Name tag. Uh, just a random cave. So don't think I need anything. Cute little nether wart farm. Yep, everything in its smallest form. Oh, even a trash can. Of course, every starter base has... Oh, that's funny. That used to be bedrock. I wonder what's under this place now. But every starter base has the mine. Oh, I even had a beacon. Yeah, it wasn't too primitive. <clears throat> this was before ancient debris, though. Yep. Lots of things. I guess mines aren't too interesting. And there was one other thing. Oops. Let's see. Yep, that's the base, which means over here. I still use this farm. It's all mobs. Period. <clears throat> but that's a nice little AFK spot. That's safe from phantoms. As you see, I hollowed out. Hollowed out. I drained all the water and hollowed out quite a bit of ground. So let's go ahead and hop down here. Um, 
Yep, that's just a little redstone clock, very primitive. And then down here there are layers upon layers. I guess it's actually not as big as I thought it was. Should probably make this a lot bigger, especially now with 1.18. But mobs would spawn and then water would show up and push all the mobs off a ledge, as you can see. And then I've got all the water all the items come up into these chests here i mainly use it for the gunpowder but also it does string and bones so many arrows i really don't need that many arrows then a maintenance shaft yep so there are campfires right there that are cooking the animals animals, they're not animals, mobs, uh, then all the items are getting spit out, there actually sounds like there's a lot of mobs up there, not a lot of drops though, yep, so all the items get spit out and flow all the way over into that oh, that bubble vader that's what that's called oh it's night um, yep that's everything over here in this starter area I did I had some mobs spawning over here on this desert so I went and watered this removed a lot of sand from this desert area oh that's right I forgot about the turtle isle Do I have a bed over here I'm go ahead and sleep Glad that cobblestone pillar's here. I would have completely forgot about in this area. But I made a little um, tree house. It's more of a tree fort, really, just because it didn't even have a bed. This is so many random items. Larry. Oh, that's probably the name of the turtles. But yep, here are my turtles. They're very... Productive turtles. Are they named Larry? Oh, nope. That one's named Mr. T. But this one's named Larry. Uh huh. So, yep. Very simple. Very cute area. I might do something more with this later, but not today. Today we're just touring the ser uh, world. Server. That's everything in this little starter area. Now we hop into the nether. Boop. As you can see, I have not spent a lot of time in the area next to my um, starter base. I don't even have a decent road going to it. But that will happen in time. I've just got different projects I'm working on at the moment. Yep, this is the main area in the nether. This leads to my main base is through that portal. Got a nice little armory here. I haven't decided what I'm actually going to do with this area yet. Right now I'm just holding some armor stands, but I have an armory in the main base. I really don't need it. Uh, this is where I've got my enchanting set up course a beacon let's see oh yeah hogland trading is very over tuned so that's here uh, I've got a basement which is very mined out and like, apparently mined out enough to spawn ghasts but yep don't want to spend much time down here so I'll just jet right back out 
Let's see, what else was there in the nether? Oh, the roof. That's right. <laughs> that door is very important. If you've never seen the nether roof before, it is very vast. A whole bunch of nothing. Unless, of course, you choose to build. And I did. This is El Mango's gold farm. It is a lot of blocks. So many magma blocks. It's quite crazy. Let's see. And of course, it's not working right now. To get it running, you could, in safety, uh, in there, just shoot an arrow. But, I mean, where's the fun in that? When you can just punch them. Let's see. Oops, I messed up. Oh, well. Well, if I wasn't a complete noob, you can just jump through the trap doors but, I mean, it's not the safest way. Oh, and it's very, very loud. So I won't spend any more time here. Very loud. But then the items go into the hopper minecarts. Which drop down into... Uh, what do they call these? Non-stackable item sorters. That's right. And then the... Stackable items get dropped down the chute and they get turned into item form right there And then they drop back into a hopper Here at the sorting system all excess gets burned but It doesn't make too many gold ingots But it makes plenty of gold nuggets a lot of gold nuggets. Let's see. That's the only farm I've built on the roof so far. Next, let's go to the end. Because I really there's not much ouch. There's not much to show there. This is, so far, my favorite room in the entire world. I put a lot of time into this, and I think it looks really cool. The ceiling looks nice, the walls look nice, the floor looks nice. And it's very three-dimensional. I love the waterways and the waterways. It's a very nice-looking room, in my opinion, of course. But then that leads to the ancient portal. And I have not done much here either. I mean, I'm not going to build here until I've killed the dragon and filled in every one of these portals. I think I've killed him 18 times. Let's see, 14, 10, 15, 18, there it is. So I've killed him 18 times, which is quite a few times, but just a couple more and then um, I can actually build here. I have built an Enderman farm. This was before I built the gold farm. This was just a lot easier to make and it's a great source of XP. I haven't tried it in 1.18, so it's good to see that it still works. But just one whack, and you get loads of XP. In fact, my pickaxe needs repaired. So 
normally only takes a few swings. And you've just got, let's see, yeah, so much XP. Takes a very long time to actually pick it all up. Very long time. Let's see. Spend too much time here. Oh, and Ender Pearls galore. The only thing I don't like about it is it's very near the bottom, which is really sketchy. I don't want to lose all my stuff to the void because you can't get it back. Yep, I haven't done anything in any end cities yet either, so there's no. This is the room that I use for all, so this is where I put my shulker boxes, but this is the room that is basically the hub for whenever I'm working in the nether, when I build the floors here, the platform up there, uh, the basement, this is the hub. Actually, I don't know, I haven't built support, excuse me, that was close. I really like these stairs, even though they're not supported. It'd probably be a nice feature to build supports for them. But now let's go to. If I can deflect this. No, don't need to. The main base. Actually, let's see if we can not see the base. Let's see which way I'm facing. Ah, we're facing the base. Yep, so that's the main base, but I want to start off over here. Might as well fly. It's faster. Cross the bridge. And over here, I've started making a village. So this village has all sorts of things. Um, pens for the livestock different shops that sell all the essential things uh, a little food place here Oop, uh, I forgot when you go through the portal it gets a bit derpy let's let the region load but we also have an inn Nice, cute little fireplace. Of course, the inn has a bunch of different rooms for the guests to stay in. You know, just all the essential things. Man, this lag though. It's unfortunate. Cute little garden out the back. All these brown shapes are future buildings, and oh my goodness, that is scary. Now it looks like lightning is already struck. This was actually one of the original buildings. Very ancient, very old. But this over here is going to be a dock. Got cute gardens everywhere. Uh, nice, really nice house. This is the oldest building in the whole area. Really not much in here at the moment. But just cute little lakeside houses that I've built. I really haven't done much with the interior yet. An in chest. I wonder why I have an in chest here. Huh. But, yep. They all have docks with lofts. I guess you can go through that front door. Like I said, haven't done any interior decorating in here yet. That's going to be one of the future episodes is finishing the whole village. That's going to be really fun. I can't wait to do that. Let's see. So in here we have the church. It's very quaint. Of course the Bible there. Every church has a basement with storage. Yeah, nice little storage closet. Actually, this is so cute, but I like it. And then more serious storage, and I actually have stored things here for building in the village. 
so not link not trying to linger too much in one spot just trying to hit every place see if we can get this video in under an hour another one of the first buildings i didn't build this this was just here and i left it because it's all right uh, another building's gonna go in here another building here 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 in fact, an aerial view would look pretty cool. Oh, there you can see the whole village starting to come together. The well. Of course, let's actually grab a torch. Which way was it? This way? Oh, uh, nope. One of the ways. Ah, here it is. Got a nice little secret room in here. Don't tell anybody. But lots of red herrings. Let's see, do we want to fly out? Yeah. I didn't even notice the bell there. Interesting. A couple more original buildings. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to show you for the village, just so I can keep moving along. Over here we've got our ink farm, which is excessively tall since ink don't spawn this high up. But, I like it. It's kind of a landmark area. But the ink, I mean the squid just spawn in, drop down, and then burn. I've got ludicrous amounts of ink. You can see the video to see how much you get per hour for that itself. Keep moving. Oh yeah, we've got a dam here and I've built another dam over here. Just be to keep the ink from spawning in. Let's see. Now we've got this area over here, which is a completely man-made island that is just for spawning, spawning, just for growing all the trees. I guess I haven't farmed wood in a while because I've still got some from the last time I did it. But it's a very picturesque island. And then we've got the boat racetrack. Which I don't know if you, I think I actually have a boat in my in chest. I have in chests everywhere. So I'll grab a boat later for now. So this is the top. It's very, the top of the base is very unkept. I haven't decided what I'm going to put up here yet, which is why I've just got a little bit of everything that I'm trying. Um, ah, that was a mistake. So next let's... This is just a cute little farm. I've got carrots, wheat, um, beetroots, and potatoes. Potatoes. There's all the crops in a cute little farm. In the tower, we have villagers. I'll go to bed. Um, but yep, there's all the villagers. Could go up the ladder, but I guess you can see. Yeah, I'll go up the ladder once. Here we've got clerics selling all the important things. And if you go up a couple flights, you get to the breeding room where we get more villagers. And apparently iron golems, that does make sense. It's funny, I just placed these blocks in here randomly, and the villagers love climbing on them and stuff. But, yep, so that's a villager breeding area. And then this tower, which is actually pretty tall. But not finished, as you can see. I was... I uh, didn't have enough black dye until I built the ink farm, and I just haven't gotten back to working on the tower since I built that farm. Um, over here, we've got our flower farm. But it's a 
very simple. Do I have... Darn, I don't have any... Oh, I do. Sweet. Bone meal to show off how it works. very simple. The dispenser shoots bone meal into the grass blocks. The grass blocks grow flowers and grass and all sorts of things, and then the pistons pushing breaks it. And my computer, for some reason, is struggling to handle that at the moment. But then I get all sorts of colors. Not all the colors, but I can get a lot of the colors from other farms. But then, like, the seeds and anything I don't want, I can just compost for more bone meal. Very simple, very useful. Um, what is this? Eh, just a random hole. Interesting. Let's see. This platform here is temporary. I just need to spawn a zombie to um, hurt the villagers, and then I can cure the villagers and get their stats up. I guess that's what this is for more railing going up. It's what the railing on the outside's for. It's going to transport the zombie. Obviously, I can only transport them at night and then store them during the day. But transport them to each of the villagers. That reminds me while I was in here. I wanted to grab... Wait, I don't have an in chest in here? What? Well, I will now. Now I have an end chest. Take one of my boats for a spin. So this is packed ice and this is blue ice. Packed ice, you still go pretty fast, but it's not as fast as blue ice. And oh, this is really hard with lag. I mean, I'm bad at it in general, but it gets much harder. Ah, fail. Let's see. Did they get out of the boat? Ah, they still have boat glitches. That's interesting. I thought they fixed that in one of the updates. So, I mean, if you just get going straight, you're fine, but once you're off by a little bit, it just gets progressively worse. I have more shulker boxes out here. That's just, just ice and wood. Three? four shulker boxes. I always wonder what happens, because I've done a lot of end busting, so. Yep, just a lot of ice. Hey look, boats. I have another boat. All right, now we get to the actual main base, the place where I've spent most of my time and produced the most lag. be in here so this used to be a guardian temple but I cleared it out so the base is entirely under the ocean um, I think it creates some really cool effects don't know where I want to start the diamond pile is very temporary it's just here I should set my spawn while I'm here it's very temporary uh, until I build the vault. I might do that next episode. We'll see. Um, either that or the aquarium. I might build the aquarium next episode. I guess I'll start on the left and work my way to the right. So this is where I moved the pumpkin farm to. I've also got a melon farm. Right now I'm converting all the melon into bone meal because I really don't need the melons at the moment. Lots of pumpkins. Very simple. Then in here I've got bee farm, which I just cleared out recently, but it's a very compact room, very cute. Very laggy apparently. That's yeah, probably the cow's fault. Um, 
Here I just take wheat, run through, breed all the cows, and then kill a bunch of the adults for meat. It's my main food food source is steak. English. And then here I've got the sh uh, wool farm. So lots and lots and lots of wool. And it's not just these. It looks like I actually took the, those shulker boxes for the village. But I've also got a whole second layer back here. I've got every single color in the game in their respective walls. And we've got, this used to be my bedroom, but now it just kind of holds lichen and any crop that I really need a bunch of. I'll just AFK here and get loads of it. Like that. And that lichen was spitting out. There we go. Got a couple cats up here. I had to take two of the cats down to the basement. You'll see why later. Here I've got a very simple guardian farm. All that water is actually flowing downwards. So anytime a guardian spawns, it normally falls straight down. Sometimes it swims up, but it's pretty rare. But then you've got uh, air blocks and then water flowing, pushing them all here. I was kind of hoping for one to spawn as an example, but maybe I'm too close. There's one. So I kind of decided to swim upwards. There's another one. But normally, when it realizes it, that it can't see me, they just fall straight down. Of course, this one's being really stubborn. Come on, bro, give us an example. Falls straight down. Nice. Then gets pushed along and cooked. And then, yep, so every now and then I just empty these. Right now I'm working on dark prismering mainly. Um, this used to be where I held the villagers. Um, now it's just home to my sugarcane farm. A little bit bigger than the old one. This setup is not very, oh my goodness. I was just going to talk about how it's not efficient, but it's apparently it's really backed up. Mm, it's because I haven't had a paper project in a long time. Which means I need to go ahead oops, and build a storage system for this right here. Because, yeah, it's all the way backed up. That's good. This is, used to be where the villagers were. Wonder. Yep, yeah, this is where I'd spawn zombies to. Um, help cure the villagers. Yes, that's what zombies are for, curing villagers. Then a map of the world. Um, not very many of my projects show up on the map yet, but you can kind of see the tree island there, the main base, the racetrack, the bridge. You can see bits and pieces of, actually, I think that's part of the village before I changed it. So that should look different if I flew over there with this map. Uh, that's the base from a top-down view. Then we've got our workroom. So we've got everything in here. If you need a tool, it's in here. A uh, crafting table, a stone cutter, a loom, a cartography table, campfires, let's see. Name tag, oh, vengeful, that was the pigmen up in the pigmen farm they were very vengeful a door just in case you want to go out into the ocean this used to be an open view until i built the storage system uh, furnaces it's in here oh yeah lava yeah i thought i had one of those in every room lots of lava um oh yeah wanted to take this bone meal downstairs with me Let's see did i have any more I occasionally use these as storage when I don't want to 
take time to go all the way downstairs. That's this room. Just breezing through everything. Down here we have our smeltery. So we've got smokers on this side. Oh, it's full. I did not realize it was full. That's a good problem to have. Um, then on this side, regular furnaces, quite simple. You turn it on, anything in this chest will be put into that chest, and then it'll be distributed evenly through all the furnaces. And kelp is my fuel source. So right now this is on um, automatic. So every now and then the pistons will go off and just break what have whatever has happened to grow. It's also, for some reason, an ink farm, a glow ink farm. I guess occasionally glow squid spawn in here. But then if I were to flip this on, all the items would start pouring into uh, here. But I'll leave that off, that way it, it doesn't just break one and then send it, wasting a whole kelp block on one. And then this side works the same way. That's an automatic loader, so it'd send it whenever it's full. Uh, but otherwise, when this isn't in automatic, I can put it in manual, which would grow it all. And then I would put the clock on a faster setting. Let's see. Take all these out. Doesn't need to be exact, but that's pretty close to what I'd have it at. Yeah, not quite as fast. Then it'd grow, break, grow, break. Very simple. But so that's where I get all the kelp for the um, dried kelp blocks. This is the etho clock. This room wasn't my original intent but because of the slime farm, I had to bust out over here. This is uh, one of my kelp farms, which apparently is struggling. So it's not supposed to produce cobblestone. Come back. Thank you. Yep, so there's that. Oh yeah, I meant to move that because this isn't in this items. No, yes it is. Okay, good. So the one upstairs wasn't all in the same chunk. So occasionally it would... Um, one of the waters would go off and they'd get out of sync. Let's see, where was I? I have three and G. There we are. It would get out of sync and cause a lot of problems. This is also for some reason... Okay. Right. It's kind of annoying. This is also for some reason a uh, squid farm. I'm really not sure why, but occasionally uh, glow squid will spawn in that water just when it's out, just for that short time, and then when the water goes away, it would suffocate. Very weird. Actually, I think I'd find it in here. Yeah, there it is. by this time so that's this room I've got a second one of these upstairs that way there's always one running the main thing I use the bone meal for is for this farm here and for the whole furnace array but there are other things Let's see is that everything in here yep um, I already covered everything in this room except for anvil I have a anvil stack because that's just another tool that you need I believe that's everything in here we're gonna skip over this room because we're gonna go over it when we go in the basement uh, this is the armory just got so many tools of everything I made a room for them all decorated a bit but then I've just got shulker boxes I just need to set up a double chest for all the extras so I've got loads and loads of extra armor weapons tools elytra really when i die i don't lose anything because i've got 
four of everything except for ancient debris that's harder to come by um, here we've got just a kelp farm it's very manual very manual it's also multi-layered how many layers did I make that's four just four layers yeah four layers I think this was, was like the first room that I make. It has still has the prism ring theme because like most of the base was prism ring since it used to be a guardian temple. Um, this is where I'm putting one of every block in the game. Um, occasionally things despawn, which is really annoying. I need to look into why that happens. Like I used to have every dirt here, but now they're just gone. Nothing blew up or anything. But yep, just getting one of everything. Let's see, one of all the ores. The hardest one to get was definitely this one. That took many hours. I haven't put in the deep slate version of everything. Do I have them in storage? Yeah. So I have all the deep slate things. I just haven't put them up yet. Um, yep. So each room's gonna, each section is gonna have a theme. So this is like the wood theme and the beginner block theme, like dirt, cobblestone, stone, all the buckets. Um, then the nether theme, then there'll be an end theme. And the reason I stopped is because I hadn't filled in all those slots and I'm really not sure what I want to go for next. So if you have a suggestion, do leave it in the comments below. What should the next section be? Got end, nether, ores, and wood slash beginner section. What else? Okay, and then in here we've got the ADX prison, which has no way to get out. There is one way in and no way out. There's literally no stairs or nothing. It should be impossible for a villager to ever leave this prison. But this prison is also known as an iron farm. Pretty much the same thing. Iron farm, prison. But in here we've got some of the most evil people who have ever existed. Like Adolf Hitler, who was fearer of Germany. Joseph Stalin, who was a dictator in the Soviet Union. Mao, who was a dictator of China. Abraham Lincoln was the president of the U.S. Kim Jong, I'm sorry, Kim Il Sung, brutal dictator, Emperor Nero, messed up guy, Castro, Shiro Ishii, who was a microbiologist with the Japanese army, did some very messed up things to imprisoned, imprisoned soldiers, and there are two people who have been here for so long we don't even remember their names. There's an iron gar golem cooking now. So, yep, just really an iron golem farm is what it is. But there is no way out. There's also no way to open this door. <laughs> uh, the brewing room. Uh, here I've got all my brewing needs. So, water bottles and empty bottles some already made potions, and then all the ingredients. I just have a shulker box there. Why do I leave shulker boxes around? Pretty sure it's empty. Yeah. Man, I'm always in need of shulker boxes, and then I find them in the weirdest places. But, let's see. Yep, so all the things you need for brewing. Nice and organized. ignore that and then over here we've got the other um, kelp farm sweet it's not out of sync so I'm, I've been working on the ratio to oh I happen to have some bone meal on me look at you so I've got some of the bone meal is going back in let's see is it backed up no it's not backed up so it's being shot back into the system. Let's see if this works. 
Yeah, there we go. So it still works. But I can't figure out how many hoppers I should send. Sometimes it's too many, sometimes it's too few. Oops. I'll add one more. See if it gets empty again. Actually, I already put some in there. So what I'll do is I'll check to see how many I put in. So let's say I put in one stack. Then I'll come back in later and see if that ends up full or if that ends up empty. And then I'll try and adjust. Uh, yep, that's all this room is for is just this one. You already saw the one downstairs. I wonder... No, there shouldn't be any ink here because it's not underneath stone. Then we're back to here, which means we've finished the main level. Nice. Only took half an hour. Uh, in here we've got the storage room. So all the blocks, some of these should go. This should be the like, immediate access. I haven't completely, because I built this in sections. I built this area first and then I built that room in there. But this is supposed to be the immediate access, so I wouldn't have two of anything here. This would be a little bit deeper storage, but more like just where everything should go. Deep slate up there in stone. Um, and then this is the secondary immediate access. So you've got deep slate in both of its forms, stone and everything. Then we've got deep storage. I'm gonna do an episode for deep, deep storage. That way I can get my shulker boxes back. Because if we look in these chests here, I guess these are good. Where is it? Ah, I guess I did all right with stone. But with uh, cobble, deep slate, it's all in shulker box form. Which is a waste of a lot of shulker boxes when it could just be chests. So, and I think I've got more examples of that somewhere. More shulker boxes. Oh, there's the stone. Yep. So, should have a little bit of everything in here. Obviously, I haven't filled out all the slots yet, and this is where my shulker boxes go. I'm always out of shulker boxes. See, this side has some. The only reason I haven't taken these is because they have things in them. Yep. Um, when it comes to resources, I'm really not lacking in gold. Iron, I've got a fair amount of as well. Redstone, I don't have that much of. Copper, I've got none of. I really don't have any copper. Um... Oh yeah, the downstairs chute. The only reason it's like this right now is for, well, you'll see in the basement. I'm collecting one of every mob, or two of every mob. So I'm using this to course them downstairs. I just run across and hide over here while, say, a charged creeper walks through and drops down. Speaking of which, very tragic. I spent half an hour trying to get a charged creeper down here. He came down and then died. So... That's why it's a 4x4 four four instead of a 2x2. Two two. So hopefully that won't happen again because that was tragic. But this is the basement. Not the deep basement, just the first level basement. We'll start on the right and go to the left this time. This is... What did I call this room? Oh yeah, this room holds the four ancient truths. So, these three are kind of locked away. You really can't get to them without permission. But this one is open for all to read. And you'll have to watch the individual episodes for each of these four ancient wisdoms. Um, over here we've got a slime farm. Which is doing pretty well. Yep, it's not a super productive slime farm but since I'm like always over here now uh, that smog's annoying but each one of these are levels that the slime can spawn on and then they jump off chasing an iron golem but 
It's not super productive, but since I'm always over here, I've got loads of slime. Um, oh yeah, this is also my access into the old basement, which I guess not anymore. It used to be my access to the old basement. Um, a very simple snow golem room, which I can actually remove some of these torches now that we're in 1.18. This is where I collect all the snow that I haven't used yet. Snow is very white, by the way. Very white. It makes white concrete look gray. And I'll skip over this for now. This is the three generators so we've got cobblestone generator which actually doesn't make sense when you can just use um, not silk touch on the stone generator I did not think about that that's quite silly you can just not silk touch this interesting uh, basalt generator This was a little bit harder to collect. I had to push the, what do you call these? Soul sand into hopper mine carts, which you can actually see sticking out the back here because I forgot to put blocks here. Can't put them there now. But yeah, all productive thanks to the haste two beacon. It's a very simple room. This was the first room I ever built with any sort of terracotta. So I was kind of just testing out all the patterns because I'd really never seen them before. But that's got its own episode. Um, yep, that's everything on this level. Now to the deep basement. Which, this was my welcoming 1.18 room. This all used to be bedrock, but as you can see, it's turned into deep slate. I haven't done these walls yet, not sure what I want to make them into yet, because I've kind of been busy working on this room down here. <clears throat> Which, this is my second favorite room so far. I'm sure when it's finished it will be my favorite, just because of how vast it is. I just love the concept of it being so big. Absolutely insane. But it's not finished yet. I've got the roads in. I've got the sides in with the lights. Uh, over there is going to be the aquarium. We've got fishes that are going to be in all those columns. It's going to be similar to this. Um, but this is where I'm collecting two of every animal. Or not two of every animal. I'm not Noah. One to three of every animal. Over here I've got some hostile mobs. Two Endermen in a boat, slime, you know, all the things. One of my favorites so far is the very elusive invisible spider. Why is this a thing, Minecraft? Invisible spider. You can kind of see it. You can see his eyes better when he's looking this way. But like right now, you can only see the particle, particle effects. There was an eye. Yep. So this was the last room on my list. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed or appreciated anything that I've done in this world. It's very vast, but there's so much more that I want to do. Please like, subscribe, and all the YouTube things, and I'll see ya.